The chairman of the Broadcasting Board of Governors, the organization overseeing U.S. media targeting foreign audiences, says that his organization needs to fight its enemies. And among those are Iran's Press TV, China's CCTV, and this channel. We can't allow ourselves to be outcommunicated by our enemies. There's that Freedom House report that reveals that today's autocratic leaders are investing billions of dollars in media resources to influence the uh, global opinion. You got Russia Today, Iran's Press TV, Venezuela's Telesaur, and of course China is uh, launching international broadcasting 24-hour news channels with correspondents around the world. Well, RT's political commentator Peter Lavelle says the chairman's statements put him beyond real journalism. The South Ossetian conflict, they, CNN took the side, Voice of America took the side of Georgia. Iran, 2003, the drive to war. I mean, this has nothing to do with journalism. It's about soft power and pushing the American foreign policy agenda. And it looks like the chairman is a little worried that the world isn't believing him or his organizations anymore. They're catching up, okay? Now, Peter, how, how do you react to the chair uh, referring to Russia as an enemy? Because uh, Walter Isaacson says, we cannot allow ourselves to be outcommunicated by our enemies. Now, isn't this ruining his mission statement of reporting news and not creating Enemies? I guess he doesn't have anything to do with journalism, okay? Because that, that's what we're supposed to do as journalists, is give you facts, maybe give you a perspective, but he's making it sound like it's just a media war. And he treats everyone that is his competitor and a competitor of the United States as an enemy. He says it clear out. 20 years after the end of the Cold War, one has to wonder whose mentality has changed and who hasn't changed. And it, it's really remarkable, but I'm not surprised at the same time. If we, if we just step back for a moment and look at the broader scope here, I I mean, if you really want to put this all together, why would he make such comments? Because he, okay, we have a depressed economy in the United States, there'll probably be a double dip, and there are priorities, and he's worried about losing budgets, he's, you know, he's, he's from CNN Time Magazine, and he's saying, look at our competitors, they're pouring money into soft power, they're pouring money into alternative journalism, they're pouring money into the truth, I would say, and they're afraid that, you know, their organizations are not going to get the word out anymore. They need to keep fighting cold wars, and they're afraid that because we won't.